Hi everyone, this is Ahmed from CRSSearchMarketing.net and today I just want to show you how to check the search query that Google match your ads with. So for example, let's go add groups, let's go to this group right here. It takes you to the keyword and then if you click on see search terms and then click all or you can select whatever but I normally do that. And then here you're going to see on the left hand side, those are the search queries that Google did, you know, uh, th that they did trigger your ads. So what I did is, and you see, you see in green added or in, in, in red is excluded. So for example, I added this keyword when I came here the last time because I found out that it have over 25% click-through rate on it, have a conversion rate of 33% and I wasn't using it as a, key, as a, as a keyword in my ad group. So if, as, as you see, this makes you see exactly if this is a keyword that you definitely would use. And of course, this one, I used it and it's been performing pretty well. Or you can even give you an idea about uh, negative keywords, because some of the keywords, for example, that triggers your ad is not necessarily the right keywords. So if we scroll down here, for example, uh, you know, we see, let's say if something, yeah, nice hotels downtown Seattle. This is not bad, but still just like one impression. So uh, let's keep scrolling down. For example, this one here. Gas light in Seattle. This really does not, uh, I mean, it doesn't fit my clients, uh, you know, keyword. So I click it, scroll up, and I add it as a negative keyword. And keep in mind, whenever you add it as a negative keyword right here, Google, you know, does it as an exact match. So, for example, if you want to add gas light, just that gas light as a negative keyword, I'll show you how to do that. But all you have to do now is just go ahead and click save and that's it so you've already added if you go scroll down you'll see that the keyword itself was added as a negative keyword right here so this this way it's a very simple way every week to go ahead and check uh, uh, on your keywords and see if you would like to add some keywords or ex exclude some keywords so if let's go back to the keywords and i'll show you if you want to add that you know manually so if you scroll down Sorry, it's taking so long. See, oh, here, it's just like on the bottom here, you have at the campaign level, you can add negative keywords or you can add it as a group level. So we're probably going to add it at the campaign level because gas light is not really, you know, matching any of the keywords we want to rank for. So we go ahead and just add, type gas light. And then the way you do it is type gas and then light. So that way, we make sure that it, your ads do not show on those keywords. Click Save, and that's it. So if you do that on a weekly basis, you're definitely going to find a lot of improvements in your, in, your, uh, in your ad performance because you're going to load on negative keywords because you know this is the act actually search query, the exact search queries that people are searching for, and you're, it's triggering your ads. Or you can just like find out keywords that you really didn't think of to use in your ad copy, and. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.